With promising futures markets, canola seems pretty attractive to grow. But with barely any moisture this winter and the high risk of heat blasting, growing canola in the south can feel a little uncomfortable. Although we may not be able to control the weather, there are a few management tricks that we can implement to strengthen our confidence in growing canola. A good strategy to consider is seeding your canola early. Early seeding can allow for the crop to utilize winter and early spring moisture more effectively and may help the crop avoid the hot summer temperatures during flowering. This early season moisture from snow melt accommodates the shallow seed placement that is required for quick and effective seedling emergence. Missing this early season moisture forces the crop to rely more heavily on timely rains throughout the season, which, as we have seen in the last few years, should really not be relied upon. As a cherry on top of the canola sundae, early seeded canola tends to be the highest yielding in comparison to later seeded crops and allows for longer season varieties to capture yield potential without the risk of fall frosts. Early seeding comes with some risks of its own though and stands lost to lethal spring frosts and early flea beetle attacks can be a problem in early seeded canola crops. Here are three questions to ask yourself when considering seeding your canola early. Number one, do forecasted temperatures seem to fluctuate significantly? Canola plants that are exposed to cooler temperatures earlier on become hardened off and can actually withstand some early season frost. This hardening off becomes compromised with an increase in fluctuating temperatures. If conditions stay cool and consistent, plants are more likely to survive a heavier spring frost. Number two, are you prepared for earlier pest control applications? Depending on how early you seed, annual weeds that prefer warmer temperatures may not have gotten a chance to germinate prior to seeding your canola. This means that you might need to go in a bit earlier with your in-crop application than you have in the past. Additionally, canola seedlings might grow a little bit slower in the spring, compromising its ability to withstand and outgrow flea beetle feeding. Therefore, it is recommended to either treat your seed with extra insecticide like Buteostart or Lumiderm to maximize flea beetle control, or prepare yourself to scout and apply foliar insecticide as needed. Number three, what is your harvest strategy? Early seeded canola crops that experience lethal spring frosts often have ample time to recover, but there is still the possibility of plant stand reduction. Without their neighbors to crowd them, canola plants will branch out to compensate for a thinner stand. This might cause some uneven maturity amongst your canola crop that could cause some problems at harvest. Selecting a variety with pod shatter technology to reduce shattering and exercising harvest aid options like reg foam can help to improve harvest conditions of staging canola. If these considerations seem manageable to you, then seeding your canola early might just be the solution to protect your precious canola blooms from the hot July temperatures and ensure successful germination of your crop, regardless of drought conditions. For more tips regarding the early seeding of canola, feel free to reach out to your local Cargill rep and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for listening and have a great day.